thought this was kind of interesting. Uh, you know, uh, the housing market predicts 2024. When a house is going to be affordable again? I, I kind of think we can just, we should probably just quit lo- using that language altogether, don't you? Like this is just our new reality. You know, buying a house is not like we assume that we're in an abnormal market, but when you're in an abnormal market for such an extended period of time, doesn't that just at some point just become the market? Again, my thinking on this is, is, is what it's always been redundantly going back is just to find the people who make more money. Again, we just, we got to start looking at different, different demographics. We just have to do that. Um, we have opportunities where we market market to who we target when we're marketing, understanding the loan that high net worth uh, borrowers use. They're going to be using your unconventional, your non-conventional type of loans, your non-QM loans. I, I just think that's kind of a huge, huge thing. Hotter than expected inflation data and strong payroll numbers are likely to apply more upward pressure to mortgage rates this year than we've previously forecast. Um, I think everybody knows this. We're kind of in it for the long haul. Uh, you know, six months, 12 months ago, we were talking about Hey, when rates come down, we can start to look at a refinance market. That doesn't seem to be anywhere on the horizon. And there really doesn't seem to be like I think I think the Federal Reserve has played all their cards right now. The administration has played all their cards right now. If there was anything that they actually could do, they would implement it now, right before the election cycle begins. Uh, I just kind of think this is a normal market, and the more we just kind of just come to terms with that, and then start to really kind of make those massive pivots, I think the better off we are. This is a tw- this was kind of trippy to to read. I got this the other day. This is a twenty eighth straight month of year-over-year declines for non-essential adjusted pending home sales. Wrap your mind around that. 28th straight decline for non-seasonally adjusted pending home sales. We have seen our home sales drop on a seasonally adjusted basis for over two years years now. Now this number, it, it is going to spring back. It, it it It's an inevitability. It's going to happen. But what this tells me is the amount of effort that you're putting into your business right now, if you want to make, if you wanted to sustain yourself over the past couple of years, you essentially, with the same skill sets you have, have to be working twice as hard now to as you were two years ago in order to close the same amount of business. If it feels like you're getting less reward for the work that you're doing, that's because you are getting less reward for the work that you're doing. Is this a good or a bad thing? Again, what is hard for you is killing your competition. We know this to be true. And this is this is good for us to have less competition. Everybody knows there's too many lenders and there's definitely too many realtors in, in the industry. One of the other slides I have in here is with NAR, the National Association of Realtors. They quit hosting their numbers of memberships. So they've been posting their membership numbers for, for decades and decades. They just this last month quit doing that. Why did NAR decide to quit posting their numbers of membership? Well, we we know there's one reason, because they don't have the members that they've had in years past. Attrition is like just absolutely devastating the mortgage and real estate community. But again, that means whoever's going to be left is going to be somebody who has a higher probability of closing more business, which means your relationships with your referral partners out there are going to be more important going forward than ever. Credit card defaults, uh, uh, canary in the cold mine coal mine moment here if we go back here to 2008 and 9 remember this this wonderful little time that we had over here we are we're seeing higher um uh, default rates on credit cards right now than we've seen at any time since the 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 housing uh the last housing crisis that we had as i told you just a second ago decades of our membership data has vanished amid enrollment dip until at least march uh nar had posted monthly counts of its ranks by state and nationwide for its year of year uh, on its website, along with annual membership counts by state during uh, dating back to at least 1970 and national counts back to 1908, over a hundred years ago. And they've just stopped doing it. The data was previously available. I've looked it up here, but it redirects it out to a generic page. And this, I, I, you know, I said this months ago, I said, I'm telling you right now, this is going to be the end of NAR. And I'll tell you, this is still the biggest story that nobody's really talking about. Florida home ownerships are relocating in droves over the insurance crisis. We know that we've got Arizona on the West Coast, which is the destination state for retirees. And on the East Coast, the migration of Jews. <laughs> from New York down to Florida, right? Um, we're not seeing it as we have in the past because like California, Florida has massive insurance problems. And I know other states, this is starting to kind of bleed out all across the country. There you go. Well, you guys all make it a great weekend and we'll chat soon. Bye.